What's up everyone? Back from Mexico. You guys knew I was just gone for about two weeks. Went down to Mexico and got married. I uh, don't have no videos or pictures to show you guys right now. As they come in from the photographer, I will post them in my videos. So keep look out for the Wednesday video so you guys can see all them awesome pics. But in the meantime, we are back at the rescue. And I must say, Dad and Jerry did a hell of a job keeping the place uh, going while I was gone. But we are back, so that means back to work. Well, if you thought my uh, first day back was smooth, it was pretty smooth. Now this is day two, and uh, I get a call this morning from Jerry. I don't know what's going on. Something happened with the Ray tank, and uh, just so happens my pump burnout on the Ray tank. The uh, one that's been going on there for about, uh, I want to say, three years now. I added that second one in to up the, the, the flow. So this thing had drained back down. So I've been working for the last hour figuring this out and getting everything back running. It turned out to be the power supply ended up blowing on the Jabo DC pump. Took me a minute to fit, figure it out, but we had some spares, got it plugged back in. It is back working, and uh, this is filling back up, and we're going to go ahead and cycle some water through there, get this cleared up for the, the, the rays. I All of these were all on the, the same br breaker, so once the DC pump dropped it, the other pump sucked air. It had its smart switch and cut off so that there was no circulation from the main system. We just had the two filter boxes and the air stones in the back corner, so I wasn't worried about, about them dying. The water just went a little bit hazy and cloudy, but we got that fixed and uh, filling that back up. Like I said, it was drained down to about there, filling it back up with clean water. The filtration will be on here in about two, three minutes, and then uh, we got some other stuff in store today. Let's go see what we're doing. Okay, you guys know about the salt water. I've been tearing this tank apart, bringing some of this stuff over to somewhere else. I've got this new rock here that I'm going to start starting in this tank. And this puffer has found a new home in a 1,000 gallon aquarium. He will be go going home in just a few days. So that is awesome and on the horizon. Look at this guy. He is surprising me left and right. He is healing up oh so well. And he is super duper active, always out and just on the glass, cleaning away. So there goes the other two, they are down there kind of just hiding. But this one is front and center. Absolutely love that guy. But while this 2200 is filmed, let's go see what I am working on today. Right before I left, I got a call and knew that we had a bunch of larger saltwater fish coming up. So you know we've got that tank there on the, the system. This one there is on the system as well. So those two are both fresh. This one here has been off. So I said, you know what? Let's make this a saltwater quarantine tank. So I went, went ahead, I got the sump set up down below. We've got the bio balls. I've got a bunch of denitrifying uh, underwater submerged um, media underneath the bio tower. There goes the skimmer pump back up. I do have a sponge filter in there as well. Started getting some live rock in there, but my sump level went way too high. So I just got the salt content right, and uh, we got, got this all going. So as this evaporates off, I'll add more live rock in there, and uh, we'll get that starting to roll for the 540 eventually. It's going to be brought in, and then this will just be a 195-gallon probably... 250 gallon salt system right here strictly for quarantine now one other thing that we did I'm not sure if my dad told you about it yet or not but we went ahead you guys see this hose running through here this is set up to our RODI barrel right here next to the, the, the sink we have this barrel that is filled with RODI water and this pumps it out to all three of the salt tanks right now as we need top offs Right now, the RODI is in the sink. We can hook it up, but what I'm go going to do, once I get everything situated, I'm going to mount the RODI on the, the wall right there to where I can access it, 
and have this onto a Y valve. So if you want, you know, you use the hose, go ahead and hook it up here or flip it over to the RODI and let it run here. I'm going to take the exhaust from the RODI, run it through the, the ceiling all the way out to the ray tank. So when the RODI is on and running, we are also putting fresh, clean water directly into the baby rays, which then come from the baby rays through to this tank over to the, 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 the big rays. So we will actually improve their water quality on the, the system when this one here stays anywhere from 10 to 20 parts per million on the nitrate scale. Um, now it's probably going to be even less because every time that's on, we're just shooting, you know, straight, you know, dechlored, de good to go, RODI water right into the ba baby rays and into the big rays. So that should be a major, major plus all the way, way around. And while uh, a couple weeks back, I went ahead and stuck, I got one and two, I've got three of these huge bags of biomedia that's already boiling in the uh, sump over here. So we have the bioreactor on this. This tank was running beautifully. So I just got the media starting to churn all over this sump here just so we can have that 195 up and rolling. It is 100% salted right now and uh, it is good to go. I'm going to stick heat on it to, to today. I'm going to stick some booster bacteria in the, the, the water, although the bacteria has already started to, to grow because I've uh, clean, cleaned off some old filters in, in there. We have bacteria in there, so I'm just doing everything I can to boost it. And after a couple more days, I'm going to go ahead and take that used media already and stick it right in, in the sump. And this tank will be ready for fish. How cool is that? Okay, back behind this salt setup. As you can see, I've got all my stuff here. But we have easy access to the back of the tank here. You can look down, see that it is a bare bottom. There are some rocks against the back wall. Got everything hooked up. So as we can see here, we've got bags of ceramic rings. We've got them red media sticks, which are supposed to de- uh, be a denitrator. There's a bunch of that in, in there. Half of it's seeded, half of it's not. This stuff was uh, pre-seeded as well. And uh, we have some more that's going to go in. So this sum's going to be overloaded with media. These bio balls are fresh, still getting bacteria on them. But we've got the, the sponges. We've got sponge pads up here. And then we've got the uh, skimmer right now which I don't have tuned. I'm just using it to help aerate the water and mix it. Uh, so as you can see, I just have the cap out right here and it's ru running full blast through. Once I'm comfortable, I will get this tuned to where it's actually skimming. Then we have the return pump up. And I'm gonna do a bunch of these floating baskets in, in here like this for when we have smaller fish that come in. Like, you know, hey, you have a, a clownfish and there's already some in Gen Pop or you have nowhere to put it. You can put little shrimps and clownfish and little floating baskets down here in the sump. You can also make some for up top here and then have the big fish down below in the all open tank. So this is uh, working out for us right now. There is an excess of media in this tank. Now granted it's for the 540 as well. So a bunch of this will come out and go into the 540 once it gets up and running. And I can add more bio balls to this if we want. It's only about halfway full, but this works for us right now. Okay, and as promised, I'm still working on Tesla's tank. We just got this new piece of wood here. So I'm going to figure out a way to get the pot attached to it and build a little island right here. So we'll have island, he'll have room to do figure eights and sprawl out. And then uh, I'm going to tie this piece of wood to together and put more plants in here. And after that, I think we are just about done with what I want to do with this tank. Then we're just waiting on plants to grow in. And I got to continually clean out all this electric eel poop. He poops a lot. So you got to be careful when you're cleaning out his tank too. Got all these food scraps and poop particles. There is a colony of shrimp in there that help clean it up but it is not enough. 
So I hope you guys enjoyed today's little video. We had some good to bad all in between. Saw the fish, saw some work. See what we do here at Ohio Fish Rescue. Until next time, catch you in the next one. Stay fishy, my friends.